What's up, everybody? Um, here's our guess, uh, part two, or some more tips and tricks. Uh, first thing to do, uh, I want to show you is uh, your drums. Every time you open up a drum rack, like I'm gonna do now, let's compare this one. Actually, let me bring these samples. Hold on, sorry. Let's bring these samples into the drum rack like that. And that's it. Now, let's mute this for now and we'll close this. And I'm in our drum rack. Without doing anything to these, just putting the samples in there. And of course, giving our. Making our little pattern here. Now, the kick and the snare up here sound like this. Oh, I forgot to do that there. Alright, just listen to the Alright, you heard that. Now, I'll put this negative 4 like I did there. And look at the difference. It's way lower and way... The it ends too short. Why? Because once you open drum rack and you put samples in, if you double click them, or you can press here, this uh, simpler thing will pop up. Now what you want to do is put the release up, all the way up, and the velocity over here all the way to 100 on both samples or all the amount of samples you're using. And now look at the difference. Back to this one. And you can already see this one's even lower because I put negative four more, but still you see that that increases the volume a lot, and it really lets you hear the whole sample. Now the other thing I want to show you was, um, shoot, oh yeah, uh, say, let's delete, let's just, all right. Now let's say I wanna do a volume automation of this electro bass, like for it to come in. Never use this here, this uh, track volume, the mix of track volume, don't use it. Instead, go to audio effects, put it in a utility, and use this master gain, I mean, not master gain, but use this gain over here. So, oh, I put it on the wrong one. Alright. So, let me just control, uh, command X to cut it, and command V to paste it here. So, we're going to click this gain button. And now we have that selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, click, click, click there, and I'm going to do a quick envelope and watch. Oh, sorry. Here. You see? Maybe I want that louder. So what I do is I come here and put negative two. So you can see the whole track gets louder, but the the effect doesn't go away now another cool uh, wow cool another cool effect you could use is uh look when i try to freeze this track okay freeze okay i can't freeze because it has this compressor on it now what i could do for that is take off the compressor go to auto pan is it auto pan? Yes, auto pan. We're gonna put the amount all the way up. We're gonna select the ramp down table position. Um, we're gonna set this to notes like this and put this to one fourth. The phase all the way to the left or all the way to the right. All right, all the way to the left. Or well, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And then you're gonna invert it so that, like it's uh like a ramp up inverted ramp up. And now look at this. Same exact effect as side chaining. And now if you delete this, you could freeze the track. So there's two more tips for you guys to better the Ableton experience. And I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, but the, these tips and tricks, I guess, these uh, things are, they're out there on YouTube, just, I saw them, I learned them, I used them a lot, and 
I'm trying to share them so that more people can see them, you know, and not everybody's going to go watch those other videos. Some people watch my videos, some people watch other videos, so the more the more of that tip there's out there, the more people will learn it, so. And I, I'm, I will give credit to the people, but I learned these things from so many kids, I mean, so many people, sorry, that uh, it's too many to give, uh, too much work to give all the credit to them. So that's it. Thanks for watching and just enjoy.